Hey gang, Jeff McAleer here on the first day of Gen Con 2021. My first interview today is with Kurt, and we're going to talk about Battle Lords of the 23rd Century, which for some reason, every time I see that title, that's how I want to say it. We like it that way. We like that grandiose type uh, entrance and, uh, and uh, accolades on it. So great. Hey, thank you. Um, now, I shared a preview video, mm -hmm. a first look video of the new edition. I think it's the seventh. Am I seventh right? Seventh edition. Yes. Gorgeous core book, jam packed. For those who don't know what Battle Lords of the 23rd Century is, why don't we talk about that a little bit? Well, Battle Lords of the 23rd Century is a military sci-fi uh, game that is based off the percentile dice mm -hmm. system. Um, we use a D50 system on uh, all told. The, the, basically, the, the 150 is like the max for species outside of the race, or eight outside of human. Mm -hmm. So humans max out at 100. Um, it's based on. Um, it, well, it is from Larry Sims, who was the original creator, and he is, uh, you know, kind of who designed the system. And we've just done an update of it. We wanted to make it a little bit easier to play because it is fairly crunchy. We wanted yeah. to streamline some of it. Yeah, sure. Um, and we wanted to make it, uh, you know, a little bit more fun. <laughs> So, Are you saying the previous editions weren't fun? No, it's just that, you know, when you spend four hours on a 30-second combat, that can be a little tedious. Yes. So we got it down to about 10. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, uh, it, is, it, it really flows a little bit easier, and we've made a lot of uh, structural updates in it, so tried to make things a little bit more even so you don't have everybody playing the same you know ram python or scissorak uh so the other species are now a little bit more comparable in their okay. uh kind and of balanced a little better yeah a little okay. bit more balanced and a little bit easier to play okay so um we also updated armor and equipment uh, tried to do the same thing with those and uh, uh just provide more of it because who doesn't like more stuff it's all it's more is good yes so one thing that I had noticed in the core book is it is jam packed. I mean, there is loads of gear and equipment and vehicles. And usually when I see a core book, now I'm not saying every role playing game, but a lot of times core books give you just enough where you're like, oh, I need, I need more. This has just everything in it. We, we are old school Battle Lords players and the old school books had everything in the main book. They wanted you to be able to take it and be able to play the whole system and right. enjoy the, everything about the system with it. So we kind of liked that idea and we went with it, which is why it's a 544-page uh, monster. Right. It, it is big. And can be used as a hand weapon in some circumstances. Uh, I could see that easily. So, um, that was our, our kind of uh, design and, and desire on it. So it's got everything from your rules for hand-to-hand -hand combat to firearms to... Uh, tanks to uh, spaceship combat. It's all in there and it's all scalable and it's all focused on the player, um, which is what we wanted into it, which gives Battle Lords its in the trenches feel. It's, you know, these guys doing, uh, doing the actual missions together right. as a team. So it's uh, got a very hard sci fi feel to it as well. It's not a lot of it's not space fantasy by any chance. We did, that was one of the aspects that we did want to limit. Some of the earlier editions did kind of have those overtones mm -hmm. and we're kind of all hard sci-fi guys. And so uh, we we really went that kind of route. There, now there still is some of the, the fantasy aspects of it with the, the matrices, which sure. are basically spelled type uh, uh, powers, but for the most part, if you don't want to use those races or species or use their uh, those uh, abilities, then you don't have to. Um, that's kind of departure from the original game, was if you if you were one of those species, that's what you stuck with. And now you can still have a Muzakin with a pulse cannon, so, you know. Sure. So let's talk about some other items, because you've got quite a few supplements as well. Now, are, have they all been ported over to 7th edition? Well, or are they new? We have two that are brand new that we wrote uh, since then, and we're working on the third. So the first one we have is Charlie Foxtrot, mm -hmm. and that is a collection of one-shot adventures. It kind of gives people a taste of, for Battle Lords, and it's got pre-generated characters, which honestly, character generation is the hardest thing in Battle Lords. Okay. Getting everything the way you want it, and, that, and, and everything evened out, that's the hardest part of it. Sure. Once you get that done, the rest of it's easy. 
Um, so we get put pre-generated in there, pre-generated scenarios, so somebody can just pick that up and go, hey, what do we feel like playing today? Do you want to be a mercenary team? Do you want to be a soldier team? Do you want to be pirates? Mm -hmm. Do you just want to you know, inspect a colony and have things go wrong? <laughs> because that's sure. usually what uh, you know, uh, that particular book is called, Charlie Foxtrot, for a reason. If it's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong in that sure. book. Right. Um, oh, you didn't call it Fubar? <laughs> no. Well, if if you've got a military uh, background, Charlie Fox has yeah. a <laughs> specific yeah, yeah. meaning. So uh, that was kind of a play to one of our bases, uh, that, which are military personnel. They they read it and they like they immediately start giggling and laughing. So sure, yeah. Um, and then the additional one that we've got out right now uh, is the Warmonger Guide. We found it's uh, kind of difficult to put out large books and get it all organized and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the like the Warmonger's Guide series and some others like it that just kind of give a little bit more background on the Battle Lords universe. So sure. it's uh, um, information that we couldn't put into the main book yeah. and information, you know, if it's Battle Lords, it's got to have weapons and equipment in there. Sure, so right. stuff that we haven't gotten elsewhere. Okay. Uh, so it's basically just additional bundles on that. And we're actually getting ready to launch our Kickstarter for Armored Up, which is another uh, big book that's going to have uh, a bunch of armor and equipment in it. It's okay. literally, that's exactly what it is. Right. You want more weapons, more equipment, that's it. Excellent. So any other things about Battle Lords of the 23rd Century you want to share with the audience? Um, you can go online. We've got a free quick start guide. So if you have any interest in it at all or just want to try something new, download it. It's free. You're not going to lose anything. And if you like the system, check us out. And Kurt, what would that web address be? Um, it is Battle Lords. Uh, you can look up Battlelords of the 23rd Century.com or just go to Google and type Battle Lords. It'll take you there. Fantastic. Kurt, thanks so much for taking some time out. It is Gen Con first day. It is busy. Not as busy as usual, but hey, at least we got a convention this yeah, year. Exactly. And, you know, people are checking us out, so we're happy. Thanks. Yep. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Oh. You're still here. Well, while you're kicking it, how about subscribing to the Gaming Gang channel or seeing the latest episode of the Gaming Gang Dispatch or finding out what YouTube recommends you check out here at my channel. And of course, don't forget, get your geek on at thegaminggang.com.